All right, I'm the Flight Rate Master, and today we're talking about choosing an air hammer. In case you can't tell, yes, this is Big Nasty of Erico fame. I finally broke down and bought one. Astro Pneumatic 4980, aka Big Nasty. And <laughs> it's nasty. He doesn't call it Big Nasty for no reason. But do you really need Big Nasty? Or will something like this get you through? Well, I hate to tell you this, but this is not gonna be a fix-all solution. And I'll get into that in a little bit. There's lots and lots and lots of choices of air hammers on the market. From Blue Point, Ingersoll Rand, various tool companies, this is a Matco, obviously Snap-on, you know, gotta give uh, Joel some shout outs every now and then. But how do you choose? You know, this is stupid expensive. This from Blue Point, not as much, but you know, it's on a Snap-on truck, so it's not cheap. So how do you choose an air hammer? Well, let's start by prefacing this with auto repair, not auto body. I'm not gonna get into, you know, splitting panels and all that, because I don't do that. So I don't know nothing about no beating panels. So what do you look for in an air hammer? Well, for starters, in our industry, you want a long barrel. You do not want the shorties. A short air hammer, basically short barrel, you know, think, you know, pistol, long barrel, short barrel. A short barrel might come in handy here and there, but it's not gonna have the power of a long barrel. That's why you wanna go with a long barrel. So brands, what do you go with? Do you go with, you know, the lower end version on the snap-on truck, the big hoss on the snap-on truck, or you know any of the other tool trucks, or do you just go to an air tool manufacturer and buy it from them? Well, a couple things you wanted to make sure you have. One is the quick coupler on the end. One of the things you wanna make sure you get, if it doesn't come with it, the quick chuck on the end of the air hammer. You do not want these springs, they suck. This is what came on Big Nasty. You can see I've already changed it out. Now, normally I'm not a big proponent of snap-on air tools. Most of them, well, suck. This is not one of them. This is mine, and we have another one in the shop. Bam Bam has one too, and probably the hardest hitting 401 shank air hammer on the market from what I've seen. Now, I'm gonna say this, so don't get mad. Probably not worth it. Remember, I paid for this. Probably not worth it. The little bit of extra, probably not worth the, the cost. Let's be honest. But it is a really good air hammer. So what about Matco or Mac or Cornwell? This is Jesse's and it's a really good air hammer. But again, stupid expensive. So what do you do? Well, this is Josh's air hammer. It's by Ingersoll Rand. Great option. It hits hard. Really good air hammer. You know, I'm not gonna badmouth Ingersoll Rand. I had a air hammer from Ingersoll for decades. It was my go-to go air hammer until, well, it died. Trigger went out and it was getting a little weak, so that's when I upgraded to the Snap-on. My point of this is, you don't have to go out and spend a bunch of money on the tool truck. There's great options in other areas. Let's get into, well, why not just buy Big Nasty? It's a beast. But there's some issues with it. It's right there, that 498 shank. Your selection of attachments is a lot less than a 401. For instance, long chisel bit. And I've got other long bits, 
you know, multitude, you know, fan clutch tools. Bottom line is you need a standard chuck air hammer for everything that you need. And in fact, I will give you a great example. Zach had a stuck CV axle splined in you know intermediate shaft just need to pop it off it would move prying it would move popping it would move and i just got big nasty so i'm like okay we're gonna we're gonna shoot this across the room and unfortunately for nothing wrong with the tool i couldn't get the right angle on it because i was because i was like that almost trying to get it to move that way and it wouldn't pop loose. I got a chisel bit on my snap-on and it popped right out. I haven't seen these in 498, you know, yet, but if I find them, I'll be sure to buy some. That's my point. The tools you can get in 401 are much more available. But Big Nasty is mean. I'll be doing a review on this, don't worry. I mean, if you watch Eric O, you really don't need a review on it, but it's a bad baby. To give an example of it though, <clears throat> car sitting over there, Ford product, you know, with the pinch bolt for the ball joint. Yeah, snap on, didn't budge it. You know, just trying to get CV axle out of the way and Ball joint would not come out. We, you know, bam, bam, spread the ears, air hammer it down, prying it down, still wouldn't come out. Couple blips, it was out. And actually didn't actually damage the uh, steering arm. So it was just enough. So highly recommended if you need to destroy stuff. I hope you liked this video on air hammers. If you did, Give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe. Make sure and hit that bell notification. If you hit that thumbs down, you hate Big Nasty. And as always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.